Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. First of all, I have to again apologize for the lack of episodes here in the last two days. It's been a... Uh, this weekend has been hectic for me as well, so I haven't had the time to record. But hopefully it's a bit more calm now in my life, so I will not have those days anymore that I don't un upload, I hope. But who knows? Maybe sometime in the future as well. But today we're gonna continue on the quest line here. So we reached uh, this stable where we slept because we are gonna go back to the Terry Town and do some type of race here. But before we do that, well, not Terry Town, this uh, Taurine Wetlands where they have the where they have the like research thing. But before we do that, we're gonna continue on the quest line with the with the with the newspaper. So pen here, a prophecy. Ow! Hey, look at you, partner. Digging around in the rain, hoping to turn up a lead. You remind me of me. Oh. So how how about it? Tell me you got something we can work with, no? I got nothing either. Not a chirp, not a warble. Even if I strain the old ear holes, no sir, not the slightest peep. So what do so what to do when our lead got leads go quiet and luck runs out? I suppose we got one last resort, a prophecy. A prophecy? Ah yes. It comes to that. Uh, good thing there are one heck of uh, cuckoo around here that er uh, speaks prophecy. I mean, we know it's hard to believe, but you got to wonder. Oh. Look at the tree there, the one way up that on the hill. They say folks are lining up to hear those prophecies every day, hoping to have a f have their fortunes told. Mm. I know what you're thinking. Seasoned reporter like me, hoping to get a lead from an actual polar tree? Well, hear me out. Uh, those that flock up there for their fortunes, they might know the real story here. Interview them. Okay, let's go and interview them then. Prophecy, prophecy. Hi. Welcome to the South Akala Stable, Burr. Do you like horses? I used to like bugs when I was little, but now I like horses the best. I'm practicing so I can be a horse when I grow up. Nay. Oh. Hey, mister. Did you come to hear the all cucking, all clucking cuckoo's prophecies? I came to ask if I'm gonna be a horsey when I grow up, but... Since the all cucking cuckoo is so popular, the wait is super long. That's unfortunate. The all cucking cuckoo. Hi. Hey there, fella. So checking out my fancy duds, I bet. Stylish, huh? right? I'm a little late to fashion and all that, but my eyes are wide open now. Oh. I was heading east for Terrytown, since I've heard celebrity designer Cece was influenced by someone there. But when I heard about the oracle here, I had to stop by and see myself if it's the real deal. And buddy, it's real as it can be. Here's the prophecy I got. On a remote island to the northeast, thou wilt find great fortune. Terrytown will have to wait. I have an island to go to. I just hope great fortune means a treasure trove of cloth. Rain or shine, rain or shine, my love for fashion will carry me through. Okay, so some island to the northeast. Is it this small little thing? Or is it the... Is this the island that you talk about? Because I know the we did one... One of those... Um, what's it called even in English? Uh, let me just think. Labyrinths. It's the same in Swedish. <laughs> uh, we did one of those labyrinths... In the depths or we did it in like three steps the sky labyrinth then yeah here sky and then then and then this so i wonder if they they talk about this as an island or maybe if they talk about this little thing but it can also be maybe these ones but that's not northeast ah, it's actually a bit northeast i'm not sure Hmm, should I really ask about that? No, maybe not. But then again, hmm. Oh. 
Are you here for a prophecy from the all clucking cuckoo? Get ready for your life to change. They say the cuckoo's words always come true. Actually, do you want to take my place in line? I have a lot of questions and I need to time to sort out what to ask. Really? You'll be doing me a favor, go ahead. I travel a lot, so I'm not used to getting rained on. Just not this much. Uh, so I'm used to getting rained on, but not just this much. I only hope I don't catch Nomia out here. Okay. <laughs> cluck, cluck, cluck. Thy name. What is thy name? Ah, I sense it. You are Link. And you're searching for someone. Ah, yes. Princess Zelda. How did you know? I know all. And what I know is that you will face trials that will reveal much to you. So will you take these trials? Sure. Cluck, cluck. Very well. The first trial is... Get to the top of that stable head within the time limit. Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself, cluck, cluck. So now it's rains, so maybe we need to actually... Oh no, we don't... Oh my, I'm stupid. We can just ascend up to the top. If we run in... Oh my god. Come on. I know we had a place here. For reals? I cannot find... It. Oh, there it is. Gonna be too late. Oh my god. For reals? If we make it now, it's super lucky. I would say this is the top. Time up, come back. I guess we're gonna be on the other side, maybe. What's wrong? Though won't get any closer to what the ultimate seek that way. How about it? Take the trial again? Of course. This time, get to the goal in the time limit. Ready yourself, cluck cluck. Well, now at least it has stopped raining. So this time around, we will try to ascend on the front side here. And hopefully we can find a, a good place. Oh my god. It was so much easier to ascend on this side. <laughs> okay, have we reached the goal? Yeah, you finished. Good job with that trial. I'd say I'm impressed, but I already knew that was going to happen, so... Though, yes though, ready to face the next trial? Only if though overcome it, will though find what though seeks. So are you going to try it or what? I'll try it. Cluck cluck, very well. The second trial is... Bring three logs here within the time limit. Lots of trees around here, any of them will do the job, okay. Just do whatever it takes to get them here, okay? One and a half minutes. So we have three three logs. We have three logs here. One. Two. Three. I wonder if it will be a problem with getting them up here. I think if we put them here, maybe we can even walk here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, here are three logs for you. Cluck, cluck. So, you tired yet or what? You got to be worn out. Well, it's been entertaining. So naive, so trusting. I can't believe you fell for this. A talking cocoa? Ridiculous. 
Now that you're worn out, we've got you right where we want you, everyone. I see you again. Of course. Ah, it's close. My god. They are so quick. <laughs> Boom. I thought I would hit you there. Looks like I didn't. Well, we'll let you off easy for now, but don't get used to it. We won't hold back the next time. Be prepared. Yeah! Hey, there's my partner. Oh. I was giving a good long thinking to the all clucking cuckoo situation when I saw everyone running around the tree here. So what's the story, kid? Hmm. Uh-huh, I see. Well, I had a suspicion that a Coco couldn't yap to save its life. But I didn't suspect this was a Giga clan trap. Those chumps really knew how to lure us in by mentioning Princess Zelda. Guess we walked right into that ah. one. But at least this this will make uh, one heck of a newspaper story. All those who put their faith in the Cuckoo's prophecies. People need to know the truth or else they'll fall for one more of their lies in the future. Oracles, my tail feathers. We work together to chase six of the stories related to Princess Zelda. Yeah. I guess we have six left then. Uh, there's never time for a break, you know. I better make sure Tracy hears the details of what happened here. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, get a load of get a load of you, giving us a big scoop of those giga adults and a healthy club ring, all in the same day. Not bad for a day's work. Uh, you keep that up, and I'll have no choice but to keep you on my on as my partner for a long, long time. But enough crowing, if I want to meet my deadline, I better get back to the office and start writing this up. See ya, kid. So long. So long, so long. Okay. With that out of the way, I guess we're gonna backtrack back to the... Um, not Terry Town, but the wetlands here. And that is what way? It's this way. For the, for the race. Which is hype. I hope uh, the obstacle course is, uh, is fun to race on. I guess these walls here, like these ones, are um, for the car to go on, on the race. So I can take the corner more aggressively, I think. So just change to the quest. Maybe. Or maybe we don't have a quest yet. For this. Racing professionals, that it is. Okay. Ready for some race? Yeah. You're the traveler from before. I knew you couldn't stay away. Take a look at this. Wow. <laughs> With the help of Hudson Construction, we built a course for test for test dr driving vehicles. These runs will help us better research the steering stick's capabilities. So welcome to the Terry Town race. Ah. I'm so grateful you found the steering stick. Now I can get to work on the project I'm most excited about, the Terrytown race. Thank you, really. <laughs> with Tali as our test driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering with the course design, and we arrived at this masterpiece. Oh. Watching you drive the course was very informative. I'm grateful. Sarkso. Mm. Drivers have to use the steering stick we provide. It's the only way I can collect the data I need. As far as the vehicle itself, anything goes, use whatever you like. Now, if you're up for it, I'd love to see you do some driving. Ah! While you're at it, 
Why not spice things up with a little competition? Say you versus Tali. She used to be called the Dame of the Dunes, you know. If you can beat her best time, well then, you win. <laughs> yes, not a bad idea. Sounds fun, doesn't it? If I recall correctly, Tali's best time is 2 minutes exactly. So how about it? Want to see if you can beat Tali's record? Of course. Yeah. Woohoo. I apologize, I got excited. And I can't help but woo and who when I get excited. Do I need to build a car? <laughs> Uh, once you're ready, did the vehicle you plan to use in the race, go ahead and attach the steering stick we prepared. Okay. Oh. Since you'll be helping us collect data, any Sonai device or building material you find around here is yours to use. Just let me know when everything is ready. Okay, good to know. They're everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I wonder which wheel is the like the, the quickest. I think these ones are the fastest ones. So if we put those on this stone thing, I think that's enough for the quest to be completed as, at least. We should at least try, I think. And I'm also thinking like fans, is it too much to put them on or is it good actually? Okay, I'm not sure if this is... It's actually pretty, pretty good. So let's just try with this steering wheel just to see what, what we have to work with here. This is pretty quick, actually. Not the best steering, but actually pretty, pretty good speed on it, I would say. Compared to the big wheels, at least. And I actually don't think a fan is necessary. I think that will only make it even more difficult to steer. Ah, yes, the vehicle looks good. Oh. Uh, ready to begin, of course. The steering stick is all set up, so we're good to begin. Mm. Let's see, first I'll activate the switch for the course. Hey. Let me explain the rules again. Alice's record is two minutes exactly. You must touch all of the lights and return to the starting point in that time. Don't take your hands off the steering stick once you grabbed it, or go too far, of course. Now on your mark. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think this is a good vehicle for, for this course, because it's no sharp turns. Oh, here's some water, actually. Hope that's okay. I guess this is the sharpest turn, but we get some help there. Yeah, two minutes for this course. And they call themselves racers, huh? I can't believe it. You actually broke Tali's record? Here, this is my way of thanking you for helping us collect so much valuable race data. Thank you, thank you. Could have thought a Vo could race like that. Alright, I'll say it. That was some brilliant driving. Your master of the steering stick was impressive. Well done. Well, well, well. How about that? It's not often Tali has so much to say. Seems like her next great rivalry has begun. I'm honored to witness the beginning. Eh. After seeing how you optimized your racing line, I feel like you're ready for something a bit more challenging. You and I should talk. Come see me later, will you? Uh, <laughs> let's talk now then. Thank you for coming. The thing I wanted to talk to you about is... Well, you see, 
Operating expenses for this Terry Town race is a bit tight. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is... We're now going to charge an entry fee for 10 rupees per round. Exciting news, isn't it? Thrilling even. Yes, no, sorry. Perhaps exciting is the wrong word. It is difficult to announcement to make, and I can't see that giving it to Cherry Spin did not help. But still, we have the expert course, which I believe is worth trying even if you have to pay a fee. And of course, I'll reward you if you're able to get good data. So I'm confident that the experience will be well worth the 10 rupee. I'm game. It's fine as it is. Uh, the expert course. Let's try it. Uh... Let me just go over the rules. This time to beat... On the, ex the time to beat on the expert course is 3 minutes. If you touch each and every light and get back here before the time runs out, you win. But don't let go... Yeah, 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 we know. I... W I don't see how this would take 3 minutes, but maybe it will. Here I actually think right turn and then a quick left turn, as quick as we can at least. And here we take a left just to meet the turn, oh no, that's no good. Oh my god. I think we still manage actually. Because <laughs> we have done over half the course now and we haven't used half the time. Maybe this wasn't the smartest line, though, here in the end. A bit too much turning. But it's okay. We will manage. Congratulations! I, I can't believe you cleared the expert course. I should have expected as much from a vote, Tali. Respect. Here, please. I want you to have this momentum for beating the expert course for the first time. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? Feel like giving it another go? Nope. Oh. Please come back and drive sometimes. Sure, sure, sure. What? Okay, so now that I would say quest line is done, but it doesn't look like it's done. What does she want? Thanks to your impressive skills, you've been told you can try the expert course too. Keep at it. Given the course, give the course another run and try for a new record. But it says that it's completed. Alright. They wonder if they might be able to invite some racing professional to make the journey from Terror Town to Learn Village. Rosal Head, Rosal Head of Learn Village and Blossom there to take that planning to build a new entertainment facility. The water race, yeah. But should we talk to her for the water race? Mm. Is your vehicle ready? Oh. Or is it up here? Let's get a better look here. Savak, Savak please, I'm pleased to see you're looking well today. That was impressive, you're very skilled. The expert course was difficult, even for me. I did not expect you to complete it and beat my time so easily. Oh. There's a lot I can learn from studying your technique. And as long as you're here, surely this research can continue without issue. Jabon and I should be free to leave. I must continue to refine my technique. If I study this course from high above, perhaps I can determine what the fastest route would be. I want to talk to you. I think here is when we get the other quest here. Hold on, don't go leaving me out of the conversation. Something you want to ask? What's this all about? This isn't a place to talk. Why don't we go somewhere more relaxing? I see. So it's a race that takes place on the water, right there off the Luren village shore. But racing on the ocean, I don't know, sounds difficult. Maybe even impossible. Mm -hmm. No, that's not true, Shabon. Racing in a place where there's no roads, racing on the ocean, 
No, it is not impossible. Whoa. The possibilities are endless. Ah. Well, 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 Tali. You're all fired up. But I don't know what to do here. If we just up and leave this construction site, we'll be leaving Furnison in the lurch. Ah. I'll be just fine. Uh, I was able to get the data I needed thanks to both of you. And this one here too. <laughs> Go help him out and don't worry about me. Building a race course on the water sounds like fun. I wouldn't want to do... I, I wouldn't want you to miss out. Though, if you don't mind, could you gather some data from the water faring vehicles? Ah. That's a kind offer, Sarkso. I'm willing to bet you'll need lots of equipment to get the water rally up and running. So please take any Sonya device you're, or building materials you need... You think you'll need from here. Ah. Sarkso, you know. When this project started, I was sure you got in the bad end of the bargain. But nah, this was fun. Oh. It was a valuable experience indeed. I thank you. Ah. No, no, no. Thank you. Haha, things are quiet around here now. I'm glad I sent them off with a smile. But the truth is, I still like to get some more data. Yeah, you can get some more data later though. So... What can we get from this gumball machine here? Steering wheels are good. Fans also is something we really need. Let's just go and get some loot from here. That's it, huh? That felt a bit... ...cheap of them, just to give me that few of things. Um, I guess we should go down. But how many fans did we get now? I think we only got... ...like one, yeah. And fans is something we really need. So maybe we're gonna take another gumball device. We have fans, big wheels. Maybe we should find fans and springs would be nice. If we can find one with both of them. I knew we would have one here. No. Here. Fans and stabilize. stabilizer. Is that the one in Kakariko? Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's just get try to get one more fan from this place then. Let's throw in one of these. So few still. Super weird. And zero... Zero fans, huh? I've got one fan. But yeah, that one drops a lot of different things, so it's not so good. Oh well, let's go down and continue on the race quest here. Oh, wrong button, sorry. raining here. Hopefully it stops raining soon. How far out is this quest? Is it the thing that's, I guess, at the parasol there? Dudes, 
and do that. Very interesting. I see. Using the surface on the w of the water like that. Incredible. Fascinating indeed. I'm dying to get to work. We got this. No problem. Isn't that right, Tali? Yes. If we use the village boats, even the children should be able to enjoy it. Hmm. Ah, if it isn't our savior. I understand we have you to thank for inviting these two. And good thing too. Uh, now that they're here, this project is sure to be sun and done. Leave it to us. It's been a while since I've had a big project. I can't wait to show what I can do. First, you gotta get my nogging in the building zone. Okay, yes, that's it. And I'm ready. Let's do this. Nice. Tada! Some of my finest work. Yes, exciting. Will you look at that? It's perfect for us. It's even more incredible than I imagined it would be. With this in place, Lurlin Village is sure to be even more prosperous. I was already so grateful to you for driving out the pirates and rebuilding the village. I never expected you to do much more for us. As head of this village, I must thank you once again. Thank you, we are filled with gratitude for you. Now, since you saved our village, there is no fee for you that use the, to use this course. Please enjoy it anytime you like. Moreover, to honor you as our village savior, we shall name this event the Savior's Race. What? You gotta be kidding. How about something classy like, uh, I don't know, the Lurlin Water Rally? Don't give some weird name to a ra rally we helped with. Lurlin Water Rally is better. I would agree. <laughs> well then, the Lurlin Water Rally it is. Now, if you want to give me the Lurlin Water Rally a spin, and I'm sure you do, come talk to me anytime. The score is a wash in Bolson Charm, and I can't wait for you to try it. Looks lively, everyone. Look lively, everyone. Time to get out to our stations. Let me race this place now. I want to try it out. Oi. Welcome to the Lurlin Water Rally. As you know, this thrilling event takes place on the open ocean. We have a very, very variety of courses to choose from and encourage you to select the one that floats your boat. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Needless to say, you can join the fun free of charge. The head of the village would toss me into the ocean if I took money from the village savior. Can I see the courses? You're inquisitive. I like it. So which course are you interested in? So we have three courses here. Okay, so the beginning courses just to see how it looks. Now I'll just flip the switch for the beginning course right here. Check out the lights, baby. We put a whole lot of love into the course and that love shines bright. You can get a good look at the course from the terrace above. Maybe do a little race visualization before you get up there. Get back to me when you're ready to take it for a spin. Of course I will. Ah, we have parts here to build the boat. That's good. Okay, so it's basically... Yes, we're gonna take one of these. Because I think this floats, if I remember correctly. They do. And also, why not put this on just yes, for... For balancing. It's good to have that with balance, I think. And also, why not two batteries? One on each side. And I would say three fans should be enough in the back here. No, 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 no. 
want an angle on that one as well. Something like that, yes. Maybe it's too heavy now, actually. But that should be okay with the stabilizer, I think. And do we need to put this one on? Yeah. For the data collection. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yes. Hopefully my building is still here, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think we need to read the rules, because it's the same as the, the other racing thing. I'd say we have some good speed. Sure, if I should call this a race, though, but sure. No, my battery. We're gonna come back to the racing some other time, because I'm not in the mood of racing anymore now. <laughs> but someday we will finish the expert course there. And while we're here, why not just go and check if the, um, both the restaurant has resetted for the day with some food for me. And also that uh, like a treasure chest game I wanna do. Why are you here? Do you have a quest for me now? Lover's Pound is out there. Savazak. Oh, of course, that would seem odd. I'm not in Gerudo Town after all. Have you ever heard of Lover's Pond? It's a lake on the summit of the mountain over there. Tuft Mountain, it's called. Lover's Pond was a fabled place when I was young. It was said that you could find your true love there. I searched and searched and searched, but I couldn't find it. Finally, I gave up. Would have, who would have thought I'd end up so close? Who would have thought I'd end up so close to it all these years later? Yeah, who thought? So that's probably where uh, this picture is taken then. Like inside here, you have uh, that picture with a lot of fairies. Yeah, so it's there. Huh, are you the one who saved the village? I thought you looked th tougher. You must be pretty strong beneath the surface. From the Hatena village? I'm from the Hatena village, but my wife is here from here originally. She's been feeling awful since those pirates oh. attacked, but after you sent them packing, we de decided it was time to move. Guess I should start learning the ins and outs of the Lurlin dialect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a peaceful day it is. Iron shell crab. Those we need to snap a pick on also. Okay. Let's go and play the game. Ah. Yes, I'm here to try my luck. Go ahead and open a chest. Yep. Nice. Oh. Is red the highest price? I think so. Yeah. Ah. Nice, nice. <laughs> but actually, eat a fish from me here. I'm not gonna read this because he's, he's smelling the fish and he wants to eat the fish and now we can open another one. 
Nice. And I will actually leave the last one because it's not worth. Bye bye. Oops. I think I'm not. Oh. Okay. And before we leave this place, just gonna grab the free free food for today here. And then after this place, I'm thinking it's maybe time to do some sky islands actually. It's been a while since we've been up to those. You have nothing new on your menu? Yeah, damn. I thought the day has already gone by. So some sky islands, huh? Uh, this we have done. That place we have done. That one we haven't touched at all. And we also need to photograph these things. That is something we really need to do. And that's that place, huh? And also, we have these two parts still. That's bad that we haven't unlocked them. Maybe it's time to try to figure this out. Because I see a chasm here. I have thought about it for a while. I see a chasm here. Maybe we need to go there actually and jump down into that. So Sky Islands have to wait for a while. Oh my god, that's actually pretty far. I'm contemplating if I should uh, just build a car. But maybe that's a bit too try hard to do. We can run this. It's no worries. So far, though, <laughs> we should have maybe used some type of flying machine, or at least uh, a car with wheels on the ground. Oh well, now we're soon there. is called Minchi Woods Chasm. Maybe? <laughs> I lost all my stamina. That's no good. I'm gonna die when I land now. Or we do that. <laughs> then we will survive. Okay. So what do we have here? Yeah. There's a light route. So why not just make it easy for us here? Actually, that thing looks a bit sus. Because I remember that these are like uh, things you can ascend on, and then you can get to places. Because we've done that a few times here. I'm glad I built the flying machine, because this was more further away than I thought. Than it looked like in the beginning, at least. 
And a nice little landing. Great Hyrule Forest depth. Yeah, 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 and also the trees here looks like the trees in the Lost Forest. Also, we should open the map. And just check how... We're... Yeah, look. We're inside the forest now. And food is something I really, really badly need. I saw now. So let's just keep exploring here for a while. Like, what is this place that's glowing here? This is something I've never seen. What the hell is this? Is this like the mother tree in the lost forest? It might actually be like the roots for it. I just want to... Yeah, this is an ascend thing. Yeah. It makes sense now when I think about it that it was here I was needed to go all the time. Where's the car? I know we're at the perfect place to just ascend now, but I I wanna light up this light route over here as well. Just to get some vision going. There's one as well. I'm gonna go to that also. It's nice to light up the depths while we're even is here. I think the other light route I saw was this way, yeah. But I haven't seen any Sonai on in this part of the depths, which is quite sad. Because it would be nice to farm some Sonai as well here. I think that's an enemy camp. Maybe. If we're lucky, we might find some Sonite over there. Oh my god. That's a bad parking. Let's take the car with us. Put it there for now. Okay, so we have a... What is it called? Was it called Colosseum thing? Like this boss fight thing is? And then we actually have a way out here. That's good to know. That oh, That's where we came from. <laughs> okay. It might be a light route over here somewhere. So where did we think we saw some enemies? There is the that thing. Here. Yeah, and it's some nice. Not a lot of so night, but at least some. Oh my god. No, are you joking me? That sucks. That's the worst entry you could have gotten. And I miss everything for some reason. Didn't think it would explode <laughs> that quickly though. Okay. 
Because usually they explode after quite some while. Give me the height here. Thank you. That's a bit unnecessary. What's that? That was stones. Oh my god, that's bad. Spear, why not? Throw your friend on me, no worries. That's good. Why did that dude start burning? Is it friendly fire, maybe? Good night. Any second here. Nice. A lot of nice loot also. I also need to become better on using all the powers here that I have on the sages. I so often forgot to use it. Maybe not use this weapon either. Uh, do we have any... We have this one. We have this one. Nothing fun to... Use it with like this. Nice. Not the best ore deposit, but better than nothing. Let's go up on this route now. No time to waste. We go. Oh, that's a long ascent to get up from the depths. And we're in. We are in. Nice. Deku 3. Here it is, huh? You're not gonna talk to me? You're not gonna talk to me? I will take the silent princesses, though. I would like to maybe even... That's a blue nightshade. Oh well. So who do I have to talk to to get an answer here? I guess I have to go in there, but we're gonna just unlock a quick quick travel place for me first here. Maybe do the shrine even. Swing to it. Yeah, it was a while since we did shrines. <laughs> that was a puzzle on it, because usually it's been... 
like already done shrines like the the rarus blessings or what they're called so here we need to somehow i guess attach that there yeah and then jump here we want to swing i'm not sure we do want to tie it up as much as we can It needs this song. Okay. To secure the the chest we should do oh can be good to jump also <laughs> it helps there we go nice and are is that like are you Supposed to hit it like a hammer? Like that doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's not the correct thing. You're supposed to put this here, maybe? Because then it's easier to... ...to push it further. And then you want the big thing on the ball again. That's what I'm guessing at least. Maybe it's... ...so wrong you can be. Let's try it out. Something's happening here. Wait, 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 wait. Is it supposed to be like this, maybe? No, I'm just guessing, and I, I think I'm pretty wrong. the hell okay, so that's not the way to do it huh ah there we go a bit scuffed but we managed A shrine is nearby still. That's good to know. Where was the entrance? Ah, oh, there. But before we enter that tree, we have to unfortunately end the episode here.
So in the next episode, we're gonna keep exploring the Lost Forest here. If you have enjoyed this episode, please consider liking the video. It helps me a lot. Also subscribe so you don't miss out on the future episodes. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.